Eczema is a chronic skin condition and one of the most common skin diseases, affecting about 1 to 3% of adults and 10 to 20% of children. Treating eczema provides several benefits. The first one is reducing symptoms like pain, redness, and itching, preventing secondary infections, as eczema can cause breaks in the skin and make it susceptible to infections. Preventing flare-ups by reducing the frequency and severity of the disease, which is really helpful in long-term management. The next one is improving skin health by moisturizing the skin and reducing inflammation and cracked skin. And the last one is improving the feeling of well-being, which improves a person's overall quality of life and emotional well-being. Now let's take a look at some important tips and remedies for eczema. The first and most important tip is to keep the skin hydrated by using moisturizers. They reduce itching, pain, and improve skin health. Wet wrap therapy, which involves wrapping the affected skin in a wet bandage, is another way to keep the skin hydrated and help reduce inflammation and dryness. Any individual suffering from eczema should identify triggers that can make eczema worse. These triggers vary from person to person. Some common triggers include detergents, harsh soaps, certain foods, and medications. Eczema can be itchy in most cases, so people may scratch themselves to ease the feeling of itching. But a scratch makes the eczema worse and increases the risk of infection. It is necessary to avoid scratching to avoid any infection and help remission. Phototherapy, which involves exposing the affected skin to ultraviolet light, can reduce inflammation and improve skin health. Behavioral interventions and lifestyle change like stress management, avoiding smoking, and staying on a healthy diet can reduce the severity of eczema. There are several medicines used for eczema depending on the severity and frequency of the disease. Here are some common medications. The first one is topical corticosteroids. Topical corticosteroids are the most commonly used medications for eczema. They must be used directly on the affected area, and it's better not to let them spread to healthy parts, because they may dry out the skin. These drugs reduce inflammation and itching. For those who cannot tolerate topical corticosteroids, topical calcineur inhibitors can be used. This drug is an immunosuppressant that reduces the severity of eczema and eases the symptoms. Systemic corticosteroids are used in the severe form of eczema. Oral and injected forms can quickly reduce inflammation. These medications can carry significant risks in long-term use. Therefore, prescribing them requires a detailed evaluation of the patient's condition. The second most commonly used category of medications are antihistamines. They are usually taken orally and used to reduce itching and the urge to scratch. In a severe form of the disease, which corticosteroids and antihistamines cannot control the symptoms, biologic medications like dupilumab can be used. It is injected to target our immune system, and we can also use topical Janoskinase inhibitors, known as JAK inhibitors, to inhibit the JAK enzyme, which plays a role in our immune system. If eczema is infected, antibiotics may be prescribed to improve the infection. It is not routinely used in eczema. Only in case there is evidence of infection, it may be used. 